about disposable gloves and the effect the sound of these can have for somebody on the autistic spectrum, okay? If you haven't seen my previous video, I'm a very proud autism mom. My beautiful cello has pathological demand avoidance, PDA, which is a rare form of autism. Very different from typical autism, but it has some of the same similarities, the same traits, okay? And one of the problems is a lot of people on the spectrum have sensory sensitivities, okay? Now, the sound of these gloves can be just too much to bear for somebody with sensory sensitivities, okay? I was completely unaware that my little cherub had an issue with the sound of these gloves because I don't use them at home. But when we was in the hospital and a nurse come towards us with latex gloves, he was in a panic, okay? The sound, yeah, a lot of people do that when they put these gloves on. The sound of these gloves is just too much for him. He cannot bear it, so he was like, no, no. No, no, no gloves, no gloves, no gloves. So the nurse is like, huh, you know, what's the problem? And I'm like, it's the sound of the gloves. You know, it's the sensory sensitivities that he has to certain sounds. Okay, so be aware for people you care for, you help them with personal needs, etc. that if they're having a reaction, when you put in on these gloves and they can't articulate what the issue is, just think, is it every time I put on these gloves, is there a problem, okay? Now, obviously, if you're assisting someone with personal care, you need to be wearing disposable gloves. But if they can't stand the sound of the latex, you can go for the vinyl gloves, okay? So two completely different sounds, okay? So... Look for that pattern if someone can't articulate. If you do think it could be the gloves that are a problem, try switching from latex to vinyl or vice versa. Okay, if they have sensitivity to both, then obviously you could try a different type of glove to protect your hands and obviously to give that person dignity during personal care. If you're using them for cleaning, scrap them and use rubber gloves, better for the environment anyway. Okay, so just be aware because not everyone can tell you what the issue is, okay? When they have a strong reaction, they may not be able to tell you, they may not have the words, the ability to communicate, to tell you what is causing their reaction, okay? So, I hope you found this video useful, and I really hope it gets to the right people to hear this message, okay? We really need to spread more and more awareness about autism. Okay, because so many people are affected and impacted by autism and we have to join their world. It's too much to expect them to join our world in terms of the way they communicate and they see and understand the world. Okay, so let's all be autism friendly, be kind and spread love to all those that need it. Okay, thank you so much for watching and obviously... This video is dedicated to my beautiful little cherub. Bye!